Good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Not bad, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good. Yes, how was your day? Um, i tired. Mm, yeah, I understand. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> So, yes. did, you, did you already have your um your your appointment with the doctors, Carolina? Perdón. Have you already had your appointment with the doctors? Ah, eh, yes. Eh, pues me van a operar nuevamente la columna. Eh, hay una vértebra abajo que está eh, un poco abierta. Está haciendo compresión con todo lo de arriba y se puede quebrar, aparte de que está desplazada. Wow. Eh, ajá, entonces, eh, parecer ese es el dolor. Al parecer ese es el dolor, así es de que me van a operar, solo que no sé cuándo. Mm, entiendo. Ay, no, que la, que la lamento. Eh, pero va a ser pronto o, o todavía está en pues en yo creo que sí va a ser sí va a ser pronto porque el día de ayer ya me tomaron los exámenes preoperatorios eh, después de los exámenes entra el proceso de gestor de cama se llama en el hospital que es cuando le consiguen a uno la cama para ingreso y luego de estar ingresado ya llega el médico a uno a programarle cirugía para ver cuándo lo puede operar mm, ya yeah, ok ok entonces, ¿puede ser que quizás en este mes o el siguiente? Eh, pues podría tal vez ser a finales de este mes o quizás en mayo, pienso. Ya, yeah, ok. De regalo el Día de la Madre. Me va. <risa> bueno. Pero bueno, todo sea. Bueno, yo, yo, sí, yo regalo pienso. porque va a ser mejorcita. Sí, primero Dios, eso, eso tengo fe yo que... Según lo que él me dijo, que puedas, puedo pues, mejorar. ¿verdad? Así ah. que vamos a ver, a ver qué. Eso sí, que me van a poner una platina y me van a poner ocho tornillos para enderezar eso. ¡Wow! O sea, entonces sí va a ser como más delicada que la primera. Sí. Porque en la primera no se me puso material. Solo se retiraron las hernias. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Así que a ver qué tal. Bueno, espero que, que todo le va a ir, de seguro todo le va a ir bien. Primero Dios. Sí, sí, ya va a ver que sí. Ya solo, sí ya solo de ser paciente mientras esperamos que llegue ese día, ¿verdad? Go, sí, así Caro. es. Go. <risa> yes, okay. thank you, Miguel. <risa> va, chicos, entonces... ¿Creen que me podrían ayudar ahí con sus camaritas? Porque vamos a tomar asistencia y pues ya empezamos la clase de tomo, así que todos deberían de estar con su camarita encendida. ¿Estás ahí? ¿Sí? ¿Estás ahí? Sí, ok. Vaya, um, excelente chicos, les... Um, los felicito porque la gran mayoría de ustedes uh, ya terminó eh, la, la unidad 2, lo cual es excelente. Um, hay algunos que son como, quiero ver, uh, como tres personas que todavía no lo han completado. Ya ustedes saben quiénes son. Um, y pues um, necesito que me lo hagan. Y también tres personas igual que no completaron el midterm. Que acuérdense que también era para el día de ahora. O me hecho, bueno, ayer que tenían que terminarlo y ahora que tenía yo que, que meter las notas. Entonces, eh, pues lastimosamente se fueron ahí con cero, ¿verdad? Los midterms. Y um, el 
el, la segunda tarea que, que está incompleta. Así es de que, eh, pues, ustedes ya saben quiénes son, yo no, 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 no tengo que decirlo. Así es de que ustedes sí me pueden hacer el favor de terminar eso ahora, ¿verdad? Para poder eh, actualizar esas notas y que no les, no les quede un cero. Y, um, y bueno, para la... la bye. Eh, bueno, les menciono de antemano, um, para la próxima semana, eh, pues la próxima semana estamos de vacaciones. Entonces, a partir del lunes, <ríe> correcto, Karen. <ríe> Entonces, a partir del lunes, uh, vamos, estamos libres, aunque ustedes no, no tengan vacaciones en su trabajo, pero por lo menos en las noches le vamos a dar vacación, ¿ok? Así que pueden irse a los planes si quieren, ¿verdad? Eh, o donde quiera irse, ¿verdad? A la discoteca también, ¿verdad? <ríe> Entonces, um, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, ¿ok? Y regresamos hasta el siguiente lunes, que sería el 18, que el, des, el lunes a 18 de abril. Eh, ten, entonces empezaríamos nuevamente. Y les recuerdo que... Um, entonces, uh, para el 18 es la unidad 3. Así que ustedes pueden empezar a completar cuanto ustedes quieran de la unidad um, 3 durante el, el, la vacación para que no tengan que estar haciéndolo el lunes, ¿verdad? Y a la última hora. Y o sea, creo que ya sería como mucho, sí. Sí, para el martes les digo, miren, todavía no han terminado la unidad 3 porque creo que les va a dar suficiente tiempo para terminarlo, ¿ok? Y por supuesto terminamos el 25 de abril, si todo sale como se planea, ¿verdad? Para la, pues regresaremos para la última uh, unidad, ¿ok? La última semana. ¿Questions? ¿Do we have any questions? El teacher, solo una consulta es que se había quedado como congelada la pantalla, no le puedo escuchar. Entonces, el 18 tenemos que entregar la unidad 3. Es correcto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, para el 18. Entonces, ah, por eso les decía que van a tener toda la vacación para, para asegurarse que lo, que lo completen, que no lo estén haciendo el lunes. ¿Verdad? Porque, pues sí, o sea, mala onda. <risa> Perdón. Y lo que pasa es que no sé si ya lo dijo, pero no lo logré escuchar. Eh, nosotros tenemos que días no tenemos clase toda la otra semana, o como correcto, de lunes a viernes de la próxima semana. No hay clases. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Eh, Son las 11. Perdón. Uh, teacher, I have a problem. Yes, I have a problem. I have a problem yesterday in the homework of mid of mid term and uh, no complete teacher. Uh, uh, in the Monday, uh, pardon, uh, hasta el día de ahora lo logré completar. Okay. No sé si no, si Oh, ok. Vale, lo voy a entonces ver porque sí, como yo lo, lo, lo hago reporte temprano, a primera hora, entonces no, no he visto um, nuevamente, pero voy a, voy a ver eso y se lo voy a actualizar. Um, ok. Uh, so, any other questions? No, teacher. Okay, bye. All right, let's take attendance then. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Jorge. Um, okay, so we'll start with um, Cristina. No? Okay. Um, Ani? Uh, 
אני? Are you there? No la escuchamos. There you go. Thank you, Ani. Okay. Uh, Mari. Mari. No. Eh, Carolina. Present teacher. Great. Christy. Christy. Jorge. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Thank Karen. You. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Karen. And Karina? Present. All right, welcome, Karina. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Very welcome, Leonardo. And Linda? Present, teacher. Uh, welcome, Linda. No, no, ah, ya la vi, ya la vi. Um, Marlene? Present. Welcome, Marlene. Miguel? Present. Present. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Nelson G? Present. All right, welcome, Nelson. And what about Nelson A? Nelson A? Okay, Norma? Present, teacher. Okay, welcome, Norma. And Olga? Present teacher. All right, welcome Olga. And Omar? Omar? No, not here. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez? Suleima Rodriguez? Suleima? No. Okay. Uh, what about Suleyma Melgar? And Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Tatiana. All right. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to start with our PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it? Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Now you can see it? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so um, this, today we're going to be looking at production, um, oops, sorry, production line vocabulary. Uh, your teacher is Jessica Guerrero, this intermediate two, class number 16. Okay, I have a question, well, first of all, okay, let's so we are going to look at the answers for the verb agreement with complex subject uh, review. So uh, for this, this is the activity that we, we did um, yesterday, right? Um, at the end of class. And um, I'm just gonna ask you guys to quickly give me the answers, okay? So you can tell me what, which one you have decided to use. So um, a number of my friends, Loves. Love. Love. Loves or love? Loves. Loves. The second. Love. love. Why? Love. Singular. Right, but why? 
Well, actually, love is, love is plural. So the question is why? Because because a number number two. Mm -hmm. What about it? Cool. We don't remember. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to stop sharing for a moment because uh, the bell is e a e n g the bell loving. Reading. So, sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not following. What, what was your, your, is it a question or are you answering something? Um, no entendí. I, 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 hmm? I think that was other example. Ah, with, with the next one. Uh -huh. Yes, right now what I'm trying to do is explain to you why um, it's love and not loves. Okay, so. Teacher. Uh huh. I think that with, it's an explanation about the other class, right? Uh, because you talk about the friends, but number, number is singular because it's number. It's singular, but friends is a plural. If, and friends is dominant to the number because because you said the number of friends, numero de amigos. For right. me, uh, sorry. Yeah, for me it's love because it's dominant friends that number. But in the in some case, it, when you choose uh a dominant, you choose the a fierce, for example. Fierce is, is singular, it's like, it's like, but number is, is a little bit confused. But okay, uh, I'll help you. It's actually very simple. Uh, I'm going to show you this is from the manual. Okay, you guys can see my screen, right? Yes, you can see my screen? Okay, good. So remember that the rules are um, that when we use words um, like the first, one of, one, so anytime we have like one or the first, it's going to talk about singular forms, right? singular forms, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we also talked about then we would have like uh, words that um, indicate like some or yeah, some anything um, that indicates that it's more than one, it's going to be plural, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a plural form. However, there's also an exception, and this is the exception. When we use a majority and a number, when we use a majority number, then the ver the, we use the plural verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the rule. Okay? Mm -hmm. So even, even though you have a and so you have a num majority, a number, even though it looks like it's singular, mm -hmm. but we use a plural verb. Okay. Okay? Do you remember this teacher. rule? Yes. Yes, teacher. Any yes. Questions? Any questions? Any questions? Teacher, then the, the answer is loves. No, because it's a plural verb. Loves is a singular verb. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, for example, like 
you know, when you use a third person singular, he loves, she loves, it loves. Okay, so that's a, that's a singular form. But here we need to use a plural form. Does that make sense? Yes, but it's some confused. Yeah, you just, it's just, these are the exceptions. Okay, a majority and a number. Just remember, when you say ah, whenever you see the word ah, you're gonna be using the plural verb. A majority, a number. There, there are other rules to help us to, to know when is plural or or singular? Well, whenever you have the only one, it's going to be singular, like the first. There's only one first, and one of. There's only one, so it's going to be singular. And words that indicate that there's more than one, you're going to be using plural, like some, many. Okay much you're going to use the plural form but no. this is the exception whenever you use a a majority a number okay then you're going to be using the plural verb does that make sense yes teacher any questions about that no teacher no okay you sure? Yes. So it, it is clear? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, wonderful. All right, so we're gonna go back to sharing my PowerPoint. Okay, so now, now it should be clear why we use love right because a number is an exception yeah exactly okay yeah sounds good sounds good okay so next, so we have a number of my friends love riding bikes, but neither my brother nor my sister owns, owns a bicycle. Okay. So not, not my brother, not my sister. So not this one, nor that one. Okay. Whenever you use the word neither or neither, whatever you want to, however you want to say that word because both words are correct. Um, so whenever you have that word, um, neither or neither, then um, we use the singular form. Okay, also with either, either, neither, either, neither, the same thing, right? We, we use the singular form. Okay, okay next, at uh, four o'clock, either my mother or father At four o'clock is, 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 is either my mother or father is coming to pick me up. Sure. Why? Because what I, I just finished telling you, whenever we use the word neither or neither or mm -hmm. either or either, like in this case, okay, we're going to be using the singular form. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. And and remember that most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, neither goes with the word nor. Neither da, 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 nor or either da, 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 or. So we have neither nor and either or. Okay. Like in Spanish, ni mi hermano ni mi hermana. Eh, ya sea mi madre o mi padre. 
Okay, so that's what they mean. Okay, let's go on to number two now. The pair of shoes on the floor. Um, the pair of shoes. The pair of shoes on the floor. Are. Are mine. The Are pair not. is mine. This is singular, the pair. Exactly. We only have one pair. Mm. Un par. Now, even in Spanish, you say el par de zapatos que ando puesto. Bueno. El par de zapatos que ando puesto es, es negro. Porque es el par. Si dijera solo zapatos, los zapatos que ando puesto son, right? Son negros. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Good. The shoes were. Yes, very good. Were made in Italy. Now we can use were because the shoes is plural. The $300 I spent on them. Were. Were worth it. Good. Find a job where you can learn use. Oh, sorry. Um, just mentioning that the $300. Here we have dollars. It's plural. Finding a job where you can learn new skills. Takes. Takes. Very good. Takes a lot of effort. Why? Because finding a job. A job. Finding a job is, um, it, it's, it's an activity. Mm -hmm. It's an activity. It's like dancing, reading, walking. It's an activity. So it's an activity, an activity. It's only one. So that's why we use the singular form. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. I've been looking for six months. Is six months? Uh, uh, I don't think. <laughs> I think our is 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 yes. <clears throat> Why? Because we're talking about a long time. Uncountable. No. No. Well, uh, uh, sorry. Um, yes, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So that that is our 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 yeah our now let's say not even one company that I applied to. Has. Has. Very good. Has responded. Why? Because we're talking about. Not even one company, ni siquiera una compañía, right? So we're, 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 we're just looking at, we just want one and not even one has done it, okay? A lot of chicken. Uh, uh, no. A lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. Are. No. 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 A lot is. 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 A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. But it's not just because of a lot of. It's because we're talking to, yeah, um, chicken. Can we count chicken? That's uncountable. Mm -hmm, it's uncountable. Unless we're talking about the animal. Uh, then it's okay, but but here we're not talking about the animal. Here we're talking about the the meat. So a lot of chicken is eaten in America because we're talking about it's like it's like saying beef or pork. Es, es como sin, como es comido algo así. Hmm? 
We're, we're talking about the meat, the meat of the chicken. And we're not talking about uh, the, the animal chicken. It's just right. like, it's like saying a lot of beef, res, right? A lot of beef or a lot of pork, right? Pork, uh, which is um, carne de, de cerdo, right? So we're talking about the actual meat and meat is uncountable. We can't count meat, okay? All right, so a lot of meat is eaten in America as a consequence, a lot of chicken. Yes. Are a lot of chickens? Are. Are raised in farms. But why? Por qué aquí utilizamos es y aquí are? Because we are talking about the animal. Exactly. <coughs> yes, here, <coughs> here we're talking about chicken as, I'm sorry, chicken as the meat, and here we're talking about chickens as the animal. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? So yes. Far, okay. All right, good. Um, I know this because I study agriculture and economics. In fact, economics are is. 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 Why is? Is economics is a subject. Right. Economics is a subject. I know that it finishes in an S, but just because it finishes in an S doesn't make it plural because economics is a subject. It's just like saying science. Um, it's like saying um, it, um I don't know, social studies. Even like social studies is plural. Mathematics, it's plural in a sense, right? Because it has an S, but really no, it's an it's um it's a subject, right? A school subject. So it's just one subject. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Bye. All right. Go on to the next one. Um, so, in fact, economics is my favorite subject. I think that that it, along with agriculture, is our is the same case. Is fascinating. Is fascinating. Notice that the subject really is it. The subject is it. So it is, we don't say it are. I know that we talked about along with agriculture, but that the, the along with agriculture is a separate idea. Like it's just extra information. What we're really talking about is the word it. Okay. Next, a photograph of two children. Sit. 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 Yes, it's a photograph. One photograph. A photograph of two children. And um, the two children is just giving, uh, giving us specific information about the, the photograph. But it really, what we're talking about is the actual photograph. Okay. Outside there are, there are people. Uh, right? Because people is plural. And a cat on the street. Sitting on the roof of a building. Are. Uh, uh, sitting, sitting on the roof of a building. Is. 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 Yes, is. Is right, big, a big crow. 
So the, we're talking about the big crow, right? There's only one big crow, okay? And how useful this website and many other free ones for studying English? Is. 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 Mm -hmm. How useful this website and many other free ones for studying English is. This website. Hold on. Uh, this website, which I think is better than some others. Was. Was founded in 2011. Was. We, yes, we're talking about other websites as well. But here, the, the main thing we're talking, like the main subject is this website. There's only one. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Questions? Teacher, uh, yo no entendí la última porque era was. Yeah, because we're talking about this website, this one. There's only one website. So it's, it's singular. Does that make sense, Carolina? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other questions? No other questions? Okay. Not to you. All right, so it's pretty clear. All right, now my question is this. Have you already finished this? Not yet. Yeah. Yes, not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right. I, I even don't start. You haven't even started. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to give you some time to finish this off. Um, how much time do you need? Uh, 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes? Class, do you all need 10 minutes? Yes? Yes, no, Quentin, man. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I can't give you 15. I'll, I can, let's try 10. Let's tell, try 10. Thing is that we need to move on. And um, anyways, you, I gave you some time yesterday. You should, you should have at least, you know, some answers from this, right? So I think, I think I'll give you about 10 minutes to do this one. Okay. Um, there's only one problem. You know what my problem is? that I don't remember who you were working with yesterday. Lastimosamente se me olvidó tomar la captura a los grupos. So you're going to have to help me. Okay? Uh, Ani? Who were you working with yesterday? Uh, I don't remember, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Carolina, who are you working with? Conmigo estaba así. ¿Con quién? Ani. Ah, Ani del you, Carmen. You, okay, perfect. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Jorge, who are you working with yesterday? Uh, Linda. Linda. Okay, and Linda is not here, so we'll vamos a ver con quién lo ponemos después. Okay. Sure. Um, Karen. My Where partner you? is Nicole. ¿Con quién? Nicole. Nicole, teacher. Malin. 
Marlene. Ah, Marlene. Marlene. Ah, Marlene. Excuse me, Marlene. Marlene okay. Nicole. No problem. Okay. All right, no problem. That's fine. Um, Karina, who are you working with? I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? Somebody remembers working with Karina? Nadie se acuerda de haber trabajado con Karina. Me, teacher. Nelson, you were with Karina? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Leonardo, who are you working with? Um, Suleima Rodriguez. Oh, okay, Suleima is not here. But okay, let me do something then. Um, I'm going to put you with with um, Jorge because Jorge doesn't have a partner right now. Okay. 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 Miguel, who were you working with? Uh, Leonardo. Okay, no. Leonardo is not here. Okay. Um, all right. Who was Norma? Who were you working with? Um, Tatiana, teacher. With Tatiana. Perfect. Okay. Great. And uh, Olga, who are you working with? I don't watch this exercise yesterday, teacher. You were not here. No. no. Okay. And Suleima, who are you working with? Ayer no estuve, teacher, porque estuve en mala de salud, pero no sé si son los mismos grupos que hemos venido trabajando, no. Ok, entonces, me asigna, por favor. Claro. <coughs> ok. Um, all right, so I'm going to open up the rooms and I'm going to give you 10 minutes, right? As we said, we said 10 minutes. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. because but even fears however however in oh, addition well. moreover is similarly similarly mm -hmm. um a ver a donde en el texto va cada una de ellas si sí. estoy buscando el screenshot me perdió <coughs> el additional transition reviewer uh -huh. ya lo sí. encontré color <coughs> tengo el cabeza en la garganta de la garganta ah, hasta la... sí, fíjese que ando como con calentura desde temprano y dolor de, pero un dolor de cabeza que sí, dolor de cuerpo de la garganta Oh, no, ya Ay, primero Dios que no. Me acabo de poner la semana pasada que falté la cuarta dosis. Y esa me noqueó. Horrible. Ah, ¿cuándo se la puso? Me la puse el lunes que falté, teacher, el lunes. Ay, el lunes pasado. Ayer tuve ocho días de haberme la puesto. Por eso es que no, porque me noqueó. Puede ser efectos secundarios entonces. Pero ya tengo ocho días. Creo que todavía. Sí, es muchos días. Uh -huh. Sí, porque los primeros, mire, el dolor de brazos se me había ido. Ah, pero, Ay, horrible. Bueno, sí, pero sí podría suceder. Uh -huh. Podría suceder. Sí, sí. Ojalá, primero Dios, que no vaya a ser nada grave. Vaya, entonces vamos a trabajar poniendo... 
online learning has both advantages and ventajas. Also, también. Also, es también. Además, además. 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 All, all mm -hmm. tun también. ¿Por all qué? To, no, all tun es aunque. Aunque. Because, Because ¿por, ¿por qué? qué? ¿Por But, qué? Pero. Pero. Uh -huh. eh, even. Incluso. First, primero. However. Sin embargo. Um, in addition. Además. Y moreover. Eh, es más. Y similarly. Similar. Similar. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver a dónde va cada una. Uh -huh. De acuerdo al texto. Uh -huh. A ver. First on learning that has bad advantage, this intention. Ponga fears, a ver cuál sale. ¿Qué medio? A ver. Primero. Sobre la línea. La ventaja y la desventaja. Los beneficios. Los beneficios. A ver, la primera acá podría ser. Fierce. Sí, podría ser porque es el inicio de del texto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pongamos first en la primera. First fierce. online learning has bad advantage. Uh -huh. beneficios. Luego. Uy, uy, uy. Luego. Uh, Dice, vamos a ver. A ver. Además, tal vez. Um, also. Además, pero uh -huh. después dice mejor. Vos quiere decir uh -huh. no, mejor. No. O más. Más. Ajá. Además. Ah, no, pues no, no es además. No podemos. Ajá. Además. Pero más de las de ventaja, no. Sin embargo, más de las de, de las de las de ventaja. Ajá. Tenemos, okay, más, tenemos más de ventajas, pero sí. reducimos el Pero. No. Sí, creo no. que podría ser. Sí. ¿Cuál había dicho? Ay, perdón, ya me. No, no le escuché. ¿Y qué ver. quiere decir? Ho, ho. Hi. Quisiera. Uh... <coughs> I had, I had, I had, y Suleima, my, eh, no on this chart teacher, eh, I have more fly, eh, You have more what? I have a more fly teacher, eh, More fly? In, in dreams, eh, sleepy, eh, And so, but it's sorry, I'm not understanding. Um, and Suleima is eh, eh, so connected, entonces, eh, entonces, no, no sé qué explicarle. Pues realmente, yo vi la presentación, la completamos, pero realmente estoy bien cansado, entonces, eh, no lo entendí muy bien. Eh, no, no me siento muy bien ahorita. 
Don Teacher y ando como dopada, pero discúlpenos, lo que le queremos pedir de apoyo, que nos diga dónde está la actividad, en qué página. Una, de... una orientación. Ah, sorry. No, no es así. No, no, es, ok. Esto es lo que hicimos el día de ayer. Esto es Ay, un, sorry, Teacher. Es un review de, el, de la unidad 2. Entonces, eh, yo se los presenté ayer y pues ahora solamente les estoy dando tiempo para que para que lo completen, ¿verdad? Um, porque no, um, no no todos habían completado el día de ayer, entonces por eso les estoy dando tiempo para completar. Eh, Miguel, usted no estuvo ayer. Sí estuve, teacher, pero realmente créeme que ahorita me siento. Eh, he tomado un montón de pastillas y me siento así. Oh, ok, ok. Como no. vulgarmente dicen bien pedo, entonces. Ok, eh, eh, bye. Me siento ahorita así como que con ganas de irme a acostar, pero realmente no me quise perder la clase. Porque okay. no, no quiero dejar de acumular minutos, ¿verdad? Porque no quiero que me perjudique para el tercer nivel. Pero, pero sí, eh, estoy así como que la mente que me cuesta un poquito. Ok, ok, entiendo. Uh, pero, pero sí usted estuvo eh, el otro día, ¿verdad? O sea, eh, sí se acuerda de esa actividad. Yo estoy bien. un poco. No se acuerda mucho. No, no, no me acuerdo. ¿El día de ayer? Lo último no me recuerdo muy bien. Ah, ok, bueno. Um, ok, bueno, um, entonces esperemos um, porque en la clase vamos a tener que ver las respuestas, ¿verdad? Porque sí, ahorita... igual, perdón, perdón, eh, yo igual eh, no me voy a desconectar. Eh, ahorita falta una hora y yo voy a tratar de de poner un poco de mi parte, ¿verdad? Para poderle entender a la hora que falta. Ok, ok, good, all right. Um, sí, porque ahorita solamente le estoy dando tiempo para terminar la actividad. De hecho, ya, ya, ya terminó el tiempo. Ok. Ok. okay. Sorry, teacher. Thank you. No, no problem. All right. Um, see you in the main room. Ok. <clears throat> Old world traditional classroom can use online components like flip learning to make the best use of teacher time. Online classes serve. Are you guys finished? Really? In the yes, teacher. Um, yep, similarly. You guys are finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hi girls, are you finished? Finished teacher. Hi teacher, finished. All right, excellent. Um, all right, I'll see you girls in a moment in the main room. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, are you finished? Yes, teacher, I'm finished. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, I will see you guys in a moment, okay? Okay. okay. Hi 
Okay, guys, are you ready? No, teacher. Hello, not learning. Expression. What? You're not finished? No. No, no finish. How much more time do you need? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, yes. Um, okay, I'm actually going to be able to only give you one more minute because I believe everybody else is finished. So I'll give you one more minute to finish off, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, so I think yes is even. Even. Mm, yes. Then in the other one. Just mm, 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 mm. mm. uh, They even have. The, uh, okay. The company is a student expansion for transporting test and summary in the living cost. The cost of employment. Okay. Something living cost. Computer, computer. Living cost. Ahí nos in Maybe in addition. Maybe in addition. Yeah. In addition. Or, or mm. all, all stuff. I don't know the pronunciation. Yeah, no, I think yes. Is all, no, no, no. I think it's all though. All though. <coughs> yes, that is that. All though. Such a computer. Then the other one. Classroom. Classroom. I information. Circa the rotation of the image students can information. Information the introduce is beneficial. Um, okay, could be. In addition, sure. In the other one is in addition, I think. Okay. Number eight, slow the disadvantage of online learning can be reduced. Especially for the very very utilities and student experience. Because, because. Because. Sí, ¿eh? yes. because, because porque the benefits are beneficial. increasing with each new technology. Uh
Okay. All right. Um, uh, first, before anything, we're going to be, um, I'm going to be taking attendance because it's already um, quite late. So I'm going to be taking the attendance. Um, so, eh, Cristina? Cristina? No? Um, okay, um, Ani? Ani? Present teacher. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Ani? Uh, Carolina? Present. Christy? Christy? Jorge? Present teacher. Karen. Present teacher. Eh, Karina. Present. Leonardo. Present teacher. Okay. Linda. Linda. Marlene. Present. All right. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. Present. Present. Very good. Nelson G. Present. Good. Nelson A. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Omar. Omar. Suleima. Eh, Rodríguez. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Okay. Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, excellent. Um, okay, so um, from what I, I hear, most people are finished. So we're going to be presenting the PowerPoint and looking at the answers. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I get paso. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Yes, I get cual problema. Okay. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So this is um, the um, this is the the transition review. Uh, we understand all of these words here. We understand also, although, because, but, even, first, however, in addition, moreover, and similarly. We understand the yes. basic words. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So we don't waste too much time. I, I don't want to be reading all of this information. So I'm just going to give you the answers. There you go. Okay, so you can check. Let's see if you get it if you got it correctly. If you have any questions, you can ask me about it.
Okay, any questions that you want to ask? No, so it's okay, we understand why we're using those transitions. I, I made a mistake in the first one, in addition. I used in addition, but it's although. Yeah, because it's a, we need to make a contrast. Okay, and then in addition is adding information. It's not contrasting anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna go on to the next part now. Let's practice. Join your assigned breakout room. After carrying out the focus group questionnaire in your groups, writing down your focus group's answers, um, return to your original groups. Okay, so remember that yesterday we carried out the, the, the questionnaire, we asked, three classmates, and you wrote down their answers. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to return to your original group and you're going to report what your, uh, your focus group told you. So in other words, it's going to, you're going to basically be having the information from, you know, probably 12 to 15 people because there are about four or five, well, actually maybe less because today, so maybe maybe not so much, um, but, but we are gonna try to, um, uh, to report as many. So you're going to give the information and see if everybody, uh, see if your classmates information coincides with yours. Does that make sense? Uh, teacher, we have to share the the answer to the three partners, for example. But uh, we have thirty six answers. Right. Exactly. Each of one of the group uh, has to to present the answer. Yes. Yes. So you can compare the your 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 classmates' answers. So you're gonna see if your if what what is the average answer, like if they are the same or they're very different. Okay. Okay. And as a result, which is the the object? The objective. Yes. Well, when you after you do a focus group. You have to go back and let the like analyze the answers to see uh, what people like. If your product is going to be a, is is it going to have um, success or not? Okay, but we don't we don't need to write anything. No, no, no. just compare. Yeah, just share your answers. Okay. okay. Sounds good? Sounds good. Everybody is, is, uh, agrees and, and understands what we're gonna be doing? Okay. Teacher. Yes. Just, I don't understand the, the last part. It says discuss how you can improve the product and the focus group questionnaire. I I understand like como eh, mejorar las preguntas algo así yeah exactly yeah. so you can you maybe maybe you you will maybe you found that the questions that you wrote were too complicated right or maybe um, you know you found that your classmates didn't understand what you were asking so you can change that question Okay, and obviously the product, right? Depending on what um, your classmate answers, you can see if um, you can change the product, make it better. Okay, 
Okay. All right. Okay, let's stop sharing and we're going to put you into your original groups. Again, just give me a little bit of time while we, while I get you back, uh, I'll get you into those groups. And not all the groups are going to have every, uh, your original classmates because um, acuérdense que al parecer hay varios que no están. Uy. El grupo dos solo tiene un integrante. Which group? Yours. Yeah. I'm, I'm faster then. Oh man. Por lo mejor. Sí, por lo mejor. Ya vamos a ver qué hacemos. Maybe one group can help me to. Yeah, I will. Voy a ver qué hago. <risa> um, Ani, ¿con quién estaba usted? Creo que con Jorge. Con Jorge. No recuerdo. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya, pues se salvó Jorge. No <risa> recuerdo, dicho. No sé si él se acuerda si estaba. Yo creo que sí. Jorge, ¿es uh, Annie with you? Yes. Ok. All right, so I'm going to open up the groups and I'll give you about 15 minutes to share your answers. Son, son varios. Lo bueno es que no son grupos grandes, con la excepción del grupo uno que está completo. Which is good. It's good. Good for you guys. Todos, todos, uh, ¿Quiénes son el grupo uno? Vos. Eh, Carolina, Karen, Karina. Karen, Karina, Maru, Marilyn Nelson. Ajá. Marilyn. Nicole. único grupo que está completo porque ahí todos les uh, falta integrantes. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, share your answers. Uh, the groups that, if you have a lot of time after, just talk about how to make the questions better, how to make the product better, okay? All right, here we go. Okay. Do so you have the, the answers? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 10 answer because 11 and uh, I don't have time off. Oh, I think that. Okay, but yes, I have the answers. And you? Okay, I have nine answers, uh, but I just. Uh, make three question because I I haven't the other question so I don't know if you want can we share the answer <laughs> or 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 como okay I send the, the answer in the chat because
No tengo. No. The answer, you don't have the answer. Es que estaba en, en oficina anoche y la no tengo otra cosa y no la hago. Entonces, las que me dijeron las niñas. Bueno. En How do you, yo las, eh, yo esa la número uno se recuerda que era How do you feel to be part of the focus groups. Entonces yo la puse con ellas en, en la número tres y, y puse la, la dos la puse en la uno y la uno la puse en la tres. Okay. Ajá. Porque como era, the ya ahí entrábamos. Is the answer, eh, is, eh, uno de los compañeros me dijo, play, play the, play the piano. In, In, which is your favorite hobby? Yes, yes. Just, just one answer do you have? Uh -huh. Okay, then yeah. in my case, let me, let me say, uh, listening, listening music, get sleep, and play soccer. Mm, okay. The is next question is you you could travel some country which will be is Canada. Canada, Canada. yes. Uh, okay, I have mm. traveled Finlandia, Spain. Yes, Spain. Okay. Is number three is how do you feel to be part of the focus group? Focus groups is a uh, satisfies. Okay. Mm -hmm. The answers that I have is she like to get different opinion. She don't like be a part of focus group. Uh, and he feels so so. Eh, nosotros nos habíamos confundido y solo les pregunté a tres y ellas me preguntaron a mí. That, that's okay. It's... Ah, pero pero me acuerdo que les dije también. Eh, Quiero ver, where do you think in the best location? Ah, la, 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 where do you like, where, where do you think is the best location to sell the product? Is mm, restaurant, is mm, hotels, is mm, only hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have mm. a market. Supermarket, supermarket or a store. Mm -hmm. That that is that is the answer that the partners give me. Mm -hmm. Is mm, mm, question how many do you think the price to be? Okay. Uh, Twenty dollar. Mm -hmm. Twenty dollar. Eso fue la respuesta que me dio una de las compañías. Ok, I have three answers. Mm -hmm. The first one is $20. $20. The second, the second one, $15 to $20. And the third one is $15 if it's good product. Ok. Eh, y la otra es, how do you how do you prefer white 
white or, or without alcohol. No sé cómo se pronuncia alcohol. 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 Is as well as without alcohol. Uh, okay, I have without, without, and he prefers soda. Mm, okay. The other oh, one? Only, the, only, ya no hice más, porque ellos me empezaron a preguntar. Okay. Uh, ah, then, como no. Eh, what do you, what do you think about the variety on the flowers? Okay. Is is sacrifice. Creo que me dijeron sacrifice. Eh, por la variedad de sabores que teníamos. Recuerda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, I have the people can choose and taste it. Uh, other answer is her thing is irrelevant. Mm. And he he said like the variety, the variety. He don't know a specific brand. Mm -hmm. Do you have mm. other question? Or In no? my case only. My case only. Okay. I have, mm -hmm. I have other question. In one word. How to describe yourself? Uh -huh. and, the yes. ans and the answer is uh, responsible, quiet, and quiet. Mm -hmm. um Sí, ajá, algo así, ¿verdad? Algo así. Ajá, Karina, algo así, ¿qué pesada. Ajá. Algo pesadita. Ah, ok, Nicola, ahora le toca, este, ¿cómo se llama? Traducir el chichipate para Karina. Chichipate. No sabe qué es eso. Ya, no, no he escuchado, pero no sé a qué refieren. Ah, yo guarda. I always learn new vocabulary when I come into this group. Okay. <laughs> last time, last time it was, um, what was it? Eh, ampar. No. Uh, no. Sí. Enchutar. 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 Enchutar, pero. Hoy tienen otra. Ahora tienen otra. Ahora es otra. Es que aquí se aprende doble. No estamos con chichipate porque con solo de vino estamos hablando de un grupo ahí que hicieron una pregunta algo extraña. Really? What was it? Yes, eh, en el that? grupo que yo estaba, teacher, preguntaron, eh, obviamente en inglés, que, que si uno era alcohólico, yo les dije, mmm, qué raro, el que tome un vino quiere decir que era alcohólico, pero dije yo, qué pregunta más fea, bien incómoda. Entonces está, me dice Nelson, en pocas palabras están preguntando si era chupate. Oh, okay. <laughs> ok. ¿Para el nombre qué vamos? Nombre de Seven sería. Seven. Yes. Dice, mm. what feature of the product is a point? Is a punch you. Is a punch you. Ok. Oh, no remember que me contestaron en esta. <risa> Nelson, por Dios santo. Es que um, no noté esa. Ácido. Oh, ahí, sí, no sé si se pronuncia así. Ácido, oh, sí, ácido. De ácido, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Acid. 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 Um, nothing. En nothing. No me quiero verla. A ver si la copié, porque creo que... Karina. Um, In my case, one person says, need more information, don't know any point that disappointed. The other person say, the size is small. And the other, I like the product. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, uh, 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 the price 
commercialization, commercialization, the presentation. Only. Okay. Commercialization. Sorry, did you? Commercialization, is, is that what you said? Commercialization. Mm -hmm. Commercialization. Commercialization. Sí. Wow. A commercial, commercialization. Yes, commercialization. Okay. Commercialization. Okay. Commercialization. No. Commercial. Commercial. Commercialization. 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 Yes, exactly. Commercialization. Yes, perfect. Okay. 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 Number, Number A. A. Over the home satisfied are you with the product? Me eh, dijeron what the one uh, a ten. Number one. Number A. Mm -hmm. Malin? O sea, Perdón, Nelson, iba a decir algo. No, no sé si me entendieron. A mí lo que me quisieron decir es de que del, del 1 al 10 me calificaban ah. 8. Familia. Se party. Okay. It's, it's similar the answer. Birthday, birthday. Uh -huh. It's more. It's more in birthday. Yes. And the number four. Um, the three uh, people. <laughs> Um, ice cream. La ice cream. Ice cream y el otro dice. Ice cream. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ice cream. Mm. Jorge says ice cream and Karina says ice cream and Omar ice cream too. It's the favorite cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my case too, the three answer is ice cream. Then our chocolate will be ice cream. Chocolate cake, not. Sería chocolate. Uh, and the other one. Mm -hmm. What is the place where you buy the cake? Mm -hmm. Jorge says eh, tecleña, cadena online, no have a specific brand, only online. And mm. Omar, bam, bam. Okay. In my case, Karen said San Martín, Olido, or Palacio del Postre. In... The other partner say boom boom y la tecleña. And Suleima say bam bam. Entonces, in this case, solo creo que coincidimos con la tecleña, ¿verdad? Yeah, bam bam is the same too. Mm -hmm. Entonces, 
¿Qué respuesta dejamos? Las dejamos todas. Sí, bueno. Ok. The other question is, how many siblings do you usually buy it? In my case, it's a 12, 6 and 8 servings. In your case, Norma? Um, depend, uh, depend uh, of, uh, of celebration, oh. um, monthly, monthly regular. Uh, wait, wait a minute, please. I agree uh, who works in uh, Agrio Rosario. It's very good. Cool. And prepare in chocolate school. Yes. And I like so they come back. Mm. Okay. Come back. Incompetence. If in Rosario, Rosario incompetence is San Martin. Okay. Miguel, usted está compartiendo su respuesta. No, no, no solo estoy opinando. Ahorita compartir, te mato lo mismo que despierto. Pero... Ay, yo también. Estoy tratando de mantenerme despierto. Ah, eh, ¿Qué quiere que haga? Que comparta lo que acabo de decir. No. Was, was, was related with the, with the before question, I think. Yeah, yeah. Eh... In, in, uh, in our question, I, I forgot the, the, the thing. And we forgot. We forgot. We forgot. <laughs> Many. <laughs> Many steps about uh -huh. the questionnaire. Y es que fíjate que yo decía que sí estaban bien, que habíamos hecho varias, pero había muchas que se parecían. Yo decía, no, hay que modificarles algo. Pero Soleima me dijo, no, para que le damos vuelta a eso, que le estamos dando tanta vuelta. Y yo, Pá, yeah, okay. because uh, this is the reason because Omar uh, right, rewrite or reorganize the, the questions and send me the final. I think so, the, because uh, I, I, I went or I had leave this the meeting before than yours. See, this is the reason why we need to evaluate. Um yeah. we go back and we evaluate the question. Uh, yeah. when we do the when we actually do the focus group, some you may notice that the questions don't work, right? It's not the same thing creating the question than actually carrying out the survey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that you guys were able to have that experience and say, mm, this question doesn't work or, oh, this question uh, doesn't sound right. Or, you know, this question is very similar to the other question. Yes. And some questions talk about the same. <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I See, this is the observation about in. We need, we are talking about, we need maybe a specific questions because 
Uh, some questions are very, very long and, and the people maybe doesn't understand, it, it don't, don't understand uh, what is the meaning of the question. Right, exactly. It happens to me because uh, some questions I didn't understand and, and they need to tell me in Spanish because I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, that's good that you were able to correct yourself. You're like, some people don't, right? No, that's, that's good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why these, these exercises are very useful because you, you can see that you know, even though at the beginning, they, it may look like everything is fine, you've got everything done. But when you go and do the activity, you see, ah, no, there, we need to work on this, right? And that's okay. That's what it's, this is all about. Mm -hmm. But in this activity, I, it was very difficult to, <laughs> to be okay with all the all the group. What, what do you mean to be okay with all the group? Uh, be agree with the question. <laughs> mm, to create the questions with the whole group. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, I understand. Um, yeah, well, that that's actually another part like of, of working as a group, right? You have to kind of like negotiate. And, and yield, right? So some people may not agree, but you have to negotiate so that everybody comes to the middle term. So it's it's part of working together as a, as a group, as a team. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you back to the main group and I'll see okay. you in a moment. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Pero la madre no la no la venden. No queda ahí donde lo extraen el, 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 lo que es el vino de uva. A sacarlo mm -hmm. solamente que no lleven no lleven ningún asiento ni nada. Eso es lo que le yeah. llaman el, la, 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 la madre del vino, que no se vaya a levantar. Porque si usted compra un bote de vino y la mueve y sale como que el se vino. levanta algo, eso no, no sirve. Sí, es ah, un residuo que si tiene residuo no sirve. Solo tiene que ser el muy, el muy vino. Mm -hmm. Do you remember okay. from unit one, and sorry, from mod, module one, there was decanting wine? Remember that? Decanting wine? Yes. 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 Okay. Que la madre siempre quede. Exactly. Okay, uh, you guys are finished? Yes. Finished. Yes. Perfect. I'll bring you to the main group. See you in a moment. Okay. Pregunta. Okay, all right, class. So what did you learn in this activity? Tell me a little bit about how, what did you learn? How did this work for you? Teacher, I don't finish, teacher. You didn't finish? No, no finish. No, teacher. All, all 10 minutes. Okay, um, well, right now, there's not very much time left in the class, so I can't give you very much time. Um, so whatever you have, just share with your class the experience. What was your experience? Tell me about it. What did you learn? 
in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, we share my answer to Anna and compare with the answer. Right. And, and, and the answer look like similar. Mm -hmm. Very similar, the, the answer that he get, of, she get the, the group that, that she participate. Okay. With my answer. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then she has to, to go out of the group because she's some kind of sick. Right, yes, I, I understand, yes. Yes. Okay, anything else that you learned in this group? I would like you to share your experience. In, in my group, teacher, uh, we compare the answer. Okay. And, and we have the flavor of a product. Mm -hmm. uh, the texture of product. Texture, mm -hmm. the texture and to we have place in for distribution. 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 And we have mm -hmm. the serving for the cake, okay. for the production, mm -hmm. as the diagrams. Okay, uh, but what did you learn in this process? That's what I want to know. What did you mm -hmm. learn while you were doing this with your, your classmates? I learned... that my classmates mm -hmm. uh, they know the product okay okay very good all right um maybe leonardo you want to share a little bit about what we were talking about uh, yeah teacher i in our case we talk about the uh, we we work uh, we will work in short in short question and a specific answer that is more easy to answer for part for people's uh, know in for our note about the the, the specific uh, uh, or the more. Uh, more specific uh, answer that need to improve or or benefit our for our product. I think so. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Anything else? For example, we're talking uh, with with your group. We were talking about the fact that um, sometimes when we carry out. Like we create the questions, we, we, we make the questionnaires, it all makes sense. But then when we go to do the, the, the questionnaire with the focus group, you realize that the questions may not be so good. The questions may be a little more complicated and may make the, the, um, the person not understand the question or confused. Did you find that with your questions? Did anybody else find that? That maybe you were doing the questions and your classmates didn't understand what you were asking? Did yes, that Yeah, that happened yes, at the because, end? Yes, because some question was very, uh, how the General? no laughter. Large or long, long oh, question. They're long. So, yes. So, another uh, or the partners, it, it doesn't understand. 
mm -hmm. uh, the question. And I think we need to, to be more specific. Right, yes, I agree. I agree, yes. Yeah, anybody else found that? Then maybe your, your questions were not maybe the most appropriate? No? So nobody wanted to change the questions a bit, a little bit? No? Yes, maybe a little bit? No. No? Okay. All right. Okay, no problem. Okay, guys, what we're going to do right now, um, I'm going to share some vocabulary with you. We're going to be doing uh, this individually, okay? Tell me when you can see the slide. Can you see the slide? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So now this is vocabulary that has to do with unit three, okay? So we have uh, mix, quality control, filter, capping, labeling, and packaging. Okay. I want you to make your best guess as to the meaning of each word. I want you to match the meaning with the vocabulary. Okay. Let's try to do the best you can. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yes? Do you need more time or are we ready to check? Are we ready to check? The check. Okay, all right. Let's check then. All right, so mix. Which of these describes the mixing? 
all the raw materials are poured in a batch and mixed. Very good, excellent. Uh huh. Good. All the raw materials are poured in a batch and mixed. Quality control. Mm -hmm. Who would be quality? Which one describes quality control? Uh, the bottles. The, the bottles uh, are put into boxes and ready to be sent to the stores. Mm, no. no. A sample, a sample. A sample. A sample is sent is to be analyzed to, analyze to ensure it meets specifications. To ensure it made it meets specifications. Very good. Yeah, so quality controls means that we're, we're, we make sure that the control, sorry, the, the quality of the product is you know, perfect. So that means that we're going to have to get a sample, right? A sample means una muestra, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, which one is the filter? After the batch is approved. After the batch, after the batch is approved. Mm -hmm. The shampoo is pouring in the right amount into the empty bottle. Yes. Very good. Let's filter. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, so once we approve the batch, right, once we have quality control, uh, then we pour the right amount into the empty bottles, right? Um, to um, yeah, to, to fill them up and with the pro with the product. Which one is capping? Capping the bottles are put into box and are ready to be sent to the store. No. No. Mm. Oh. The bottles are moved to okay. another the machine. The bottles are moved to another cup machine on the very bottom. Exactly. And the bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists them tight. The, the key word here is cap, right? So you, we know that that's the answer because we have the word cap here, a cap. Right, it puts on a cap. What's a cap? Tapadera. Tapadera o tapón. tapón. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, good. And last one, uh, so we have the labeling. Which one is labeling? The the bottles of the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand names you stock on them. Good. Exactly. So the you know. And once again, just like the other one, the keyword here is um, labels, the labels. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I know the last one is very difficult, but I want you to try. <laughs> Which one is packaging? The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores to the store right exactly right um so packaging refers to putting things in a package right um uh, for example a um a box could be a package okay yeah does that make sense for everybody do we understand it yes yeah yeah, you sure? Sure. Yes. Any questions? No, thank you. No? Okay. All right, very good. I'm going to stop there then, and uh, we're going to be checking, taking the attendance. So I have Christina. Nina, Ani, eh, Mari, Carolina, Essen. Cristina, oh sorry, Cristi, Cristi, Jorge, present teacher, Karen, 
Present teacher. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Present teacher. Linda. Linda. Marlene. Present. Okay, very good. Miguel. Present, present. Present. Nelson, uh, Nelson G. Present, Miss. Very good. Nelson A. Nelson A. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Olga. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, Omar. Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Great. Y Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good. But el día de hoy le tocaría a Olga. Okay. Eh, quiero ver, Olga, todavía ahí está, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok. Very good. So, everybody, that's it. Acuérdense, si no han terminado el midterm o la unidad 2, por favor, um, háganme eso porque quiero ver mañana. Debe estar que todos ya lo hayan completado, ¿ok? All right, guys. So, take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Creo que Jorge se quedó frisado ahí. Ok. Está acá, vamos a ver si. Ok. Eh, hello, Olga. ¿Qué tal? Gracias a Dios, bien, teacher. Todo Aquí bien. haciendo el esfuerzo. Eso, sí. Muy bien, muy bien. La felicito Gracias. por eso, porque yo sé que no es fácil, pero, pero ahí está, usted haciendo todo su mayor intento, así que excelente. Sí, gracias. Ya sabe. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Qué preguntas tiene? ¿Qué inquietudes? Pues este, este módulo lo he sentido un poquito más complejo que el anterior, porque ya las conversaciones lleva mucho más estructura. Entonces, eh, en la última parte que vimos sobre los verb agreement with complex subjects, uh -huh. ahí sí me cuesta un poquito. Sí, oh. pero creo que ahí es de repasar y de practicar. Uh -huh. okay. uh, aunque todavía no me siento derrotada. <risa> no, 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 no lo está. No lo que puedo puedo seguir. Eso, ok, muy bien, muy bien. Uh, mm -hmm. Sí, sí, va a ser más, más um, digamos, más complejo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, vamos a un nivel más alto, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, mm -hmm. eso no, no le voy a negar, siempre se va a poner un poquito más, más fuerte, ¿verdad? La información, pero que usted lo puede hacer, lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Si es posible. Eh, ahora, Cuénteme, ¿qué es lo que le está costando acerca de el subject, um, del complex subject y verb agreement? Bueno, lo último que vimos es eh, sobre el contexto, ¿verdad? Cuando poner, sí entendí, pero siento que cuesta más, eh, que me falta más práctica, por ejemplo, cuando usar el plural, cuando el singular. Eh, si va después de neither o either o either o neither uh -huh. todo eso sí siento que tengo un poquito de deficiencia pero pero lo puedo mejorar ok muy bien ahora, ahora la pregunta para ustedes según mi desarrollo estoy al nivel o me hace falta ¿O qué tanto me hace falta para nivelarme en el módulo en que estoy? Um, no, creo que estamos bien. Solo que, si no me equivoco, 
eh, me ha estado participando un poquito menos que la vez pasada. Mm. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Eso es. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, y quizás también por eso uh, siento un poquito de espacio, no sé. Porque por el hecho de que como no estamos practicando tanto, entonces también ahí pues se, va, tarde o temprano tenemos un poquito de espacio. Eh, uh -huh. No sé a qué se deba que eh, ese cambio, no sé si es que está más cansadita o es que eh, pues, le da más pena o no sé, ¿qué, qué, qué siente usted que le está, le está afectando? No, sí, cansancio últimamente tengo bastante, uh -huh. pero siento a veces que quedo repasando las ideas quizás para participar y, y en eso estoy cuando alguien más participa y tienen a veces más soltura en, la, en, la, en el vocabulario que yo, pero... Eh, es como dice usted, es cuestión de práctica. Y también porque el nivel lo exige más, exige más vocabulario cada vez más. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí sí siento que me hace falta un poquito. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, ¿En qué cree usted que yo le podría apoyar? Ahorita, tal vez sí tiene más ejercicio de eso, de... De el, complex, eh, complex subject and verb agreement. Sí. Ajá, okay. tal vez pudiese enviármela para practicar más. Ok. Mm, creo que con eso, okay. con eso sería ¿Y, ha, ¿Y qué ha, entend, eh, ha, ha podido entender la teoría detrás de eso o está un poquito... Uh, Tengo bastante dudas. Ok, va, muy bien. Hablemos acerca de eso entonces. Um, so Déjenme un momentito. Eso de un momentito que está, está pensando. Okay. Mm. Estoy tratando de hacer lo más grande, pero no se puede. Ok, va. Um, vamos a tener que hacerlo así porque ni modo. Um, yo creo que va a ser mejor así. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. So the idea here is that we should be paying attention not to the noun itself. For example, here, if if we were looking just at the noun, 
uh, just like the one down, it would be decisions, it's plural, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Good things, things is plural, right? Um, also here we have decisions. Um, here we have product developers, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Normally, we would just look at this and say, ah, decisions is plural, or things is plural, or product developers is plural. But no, we're not paying attention to that. When we have a specific um, quantity, we pay attention to that. So in this case, we're talking about the first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many firsts are there? ¿Cuántos primeros hay? Dos. No, ¿cuántos primeros hay? Ah, solo uno. Solo hay uno. Si yo le digo, ¿cuál fue su primer trabajo? No me va a contar de dos diferentes trabajos. Uh -huh. Porque solo hay uno. Uno que fue el primero. El otro uh -huh. fue el segundo, ¿verdad? Pero el, el primero solo hay uno. ¿Ya? ¿Yeah? Uh -huh. ¿Do we understand? Sí. Ok. Entonces, como solo hay uno, entonces, el... La... Lo que vamos a estar utilizando va a ser en el singular form. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lo mismo acá. One of the good things. ¿De cuántos estamos hablando? ¿Cuántas cosas? Uno. Solo uno, porque es one of. Cierto mm -hmm. que hay muchas cosas que es, hay muchas cosas, things. Pero solo vamos mm -hmm. a hablar de una de las cosas buenas. Okay, so because of that, then we're going to be using the like um, is, right? We're going to is. Yeah. Okay. So here we're always going to be using the singular form. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Over here, we're using the word some. When you say some, is it referring only to one? Mm, yes, alguno. Algunas. Oh, alguno. Uh -huh. So only one? Mm, no llevaría ese si fuera algunas. Okay. Eh, but, but we're talking about some. Porque in, 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 in English, we never say some. So no existe. Ah, OK, OK, some. Algunos. Oh. Ajá. Entonces, singular or plural is some. Plural. It's plural, plural. right? Plural. Porque cuando decimos some, no estamos hablando solo de uno. Estamos hablando de varios. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? OK. Vale. Yeah. Entonces, como son much, most, muchos, entonces vamos a usar are which is plural form. Okay. Okay? Yes. So here we're talking about the plural. Here we're talking about singular. Mm -hmm. Okay? Va. Entonces, hasta el momento todo claro, ¿verdad? Ahora, las sí. excepciones a esa regla, la excepción es cuando eh, utilizamos a majority y a number. Si, ven es, si ve esto, a majority y a number, entonces sabrá que vamos a utilizar, ¿qué formato? Si es una excepción, tendría que ser singular. No, porque es a majority. A majority, una mayoría, una, una, o la mayoría, la. Entonces, solo estamos hablando de una, ¿verdad? Singular. So, pero, muy bien, pero como esto es una excepción, sería? Plural. Plural. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Igual, igual un, a number. Cuando decimos un número, ¿de cuánto estamos hablando? Mm, de varios. Un número. ¿De uno? No, solo de uno, ¿verdad? 
Pero, mm -hmm. como es una excepción, entonces, eh, tanto a majority como a number va a ser plural. Por eso es R. Por eso es que es R, correcto. Ok. ¿Eh? En este caso. Esa parte era la que más me costaba. En este caso, prefer, ¿verdad? Prefer. Porque, porque sería plural form. Estamos hablando de a majority. Uh -huh. mayoría. Ok. Según uh -huh. ¿Alguna pregunta? No, ahí está bien. Sí, ya hoy se está ya. más clarito. Está más claro, teacher. Muchas gracias. Va, excelente, excelente. Va, voy a ver si le puedo conseguir más información, eh, más ejercicios para poder um, trabajar en eso. Uh -huh. Ok. De acuerdo. Vaya. Entonces, um, no le quito más tiempo porque anoche ya necesita irse a descansar, ¿verdad? También usted, teacher, muchas gracias por la paciencia. Bueno, ya sabe, ya sabe. Para cualquier cosita, aquí estamos a la orden, ¿ok? Muchas gracias. Pase okay. feliz noche. Gracias, mm. mente. Good night. Good night.